Hi, my name is Dwayne Kersey. In this video, we'll explain how to connect your JVC cameras to an RMLP100 controller on an IP network. In the box, you should have the camera itself, its lens cap, remote control, AC adapter, ceiling mount and screws, and some JVC labels to use when mounting the camera inverted. Next is the remote control, the RMLP100. In the box, you should have the remote control itself and an AC adapter. You will also need an ethernet switch. We recommend a PoE type switch so that it will power your cameras and eliminate the need to use the AC adapters with each camera. You will also need some ethernet cables. And again, make sure you have enough cables to connect all that you need to connect to the switch. Before proceeding to the next step, it is required that your JVC equipment be updated to the latest firmware. Please check your firmware at our website, pro.jvc.com. First, connect each camera to your ethernet switch using an ethernet cable. Once all cameras are connected, connect your RMLP100 remote control to the switch using yet another ethernet cable. Once all devices are connected to your ethernet switch, power on the ethernet switch. In order to connect to an existing network, you'll need to have access to a computer running Windows and is connected to that network. On it, you'll need to install the JVC camera configuration utility called Upgrade Standard. To locate the software, go to the pro.jvc.com website, click on Professional Video tab, then onto PTZ Camera, click on the PTZ camera that you are using, and then click on Software and Firmware Downloads, which is found under the Sales and Support tab. If you scroll down, you will see the software UpgradeStandard.exe file available to download. This software will help find the cameras within the network. Additionally, the RMLP100 controller does not support DHCP. Therefore, to connect your controller to the already existing network, the IP address must be entered manually. Please consult with your network administrator to receive a unique IP address and other configuration details for the controller to use. To enter the assigned IP address settings into your controller, click on Settings, Network, and then Controller. In the window that appears, enter the new IP settings that were assigned to you. Click Enter, then click Home to go back to the home page. Launch the Upgrade Standard EXE Utility. You'll see the cameras pop up with their default IP addresses after pressing the search button. The default IP addresses will be 192.168.0.10 for each PTZ camera. In order to give the camera its own unique IP address, select each camera manually and switch them into DHCP mode. Then click Set. Set Success will then pop up. At this point, you'll see your cameras all initialize as they start up. Once that's done, search the cameras again using the same software. You will now see the unique IP addresses assigned to each camera. Make sure to take note of each new IP address because you'll need them for our next step. Going back to your controller, click on Settings, Network, Camera Registration, Manual, and then type in the IP addresses from the upgrade software into the controller. Press back to home and then under the numbers 1 through 10, you'll see a second set of selectable numbers for the cameras you added. And you will now be able to control them with the controller. If you have any further questions, please contact us via email at ptzsupport at us.jvckenwood.com. 